Hey guys, what's up? Sam here back with another video. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass the FRP lock on a Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime rocking Android 6.0.1. Now this method is not hard at all. It's pretty simple and straightforward. So if you have this device on this Android version, then this method should definitely work for you. All right, so let's get into this video. All right, so right here you can see that I do have the FRP lock on this particular device. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just click right here where you can add a network. Just type some letters there and then hold down on the letters and click on assist, all right? That should bring up the Google search page. From there, go ahead and type in settings. Go into your settings. As you can see, I'm tapping right here on build number and the developer mode won't turn on. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go into the security section and take download from unknown sources, all right? The fact that you can enable this will definitely make things easier for us. So once you've done that, you can just go back to the Google search page, go on rootjunkiesdl.com, and you're gonna download the FRP bypass APK, all right? Just go ahead, search for Root Junkie SDL, then click on FRP, scroll down, and look for the FRP bypass APK. It should be this one right here. Go ahead, click allow, download it. And once it's downloaded, go ahead, click on open. So let's go ahead and install this. If you get a arrow saying that it's crashed or anything like that, what that means is that you need to change the Google account manager in the phone. So let's go back to Root Junkie's site and download this Google account manager here. This one is the account manager six for the 6.0 version. Go ahead, install that. And then after that, you can go ahead and install the FRP bypass. So this one is pretty simple guys, not too much work needed to bypass this particular FRP. So if you have this particular J7 Prime on this current version, then bypassing it shouldn't be hard at all. So once you've installed this new bypass APK, all you need to do now is just insert a new Google account along with a password. Once that's done, just go ahead and restart the device, all right? Now, once you've restarted the device, you will see right here that it says account has been added. That's really good. Just go ahead and continue the setup process. Once you're in, just go ahead and reset the device from the settings menu. All right, do a factory set and you'll be good as new. So yeah, that's pretty much how I bypass the FRP on this particular J7 Prime. And as I said before, guys, it's not hard at all. It's very straightforward to the point. So if you have this device, it should definitely work for you. And if it did, let me know in the comment sections down below, all right? And if you do appreciate me doing these types of videos, go ahead and smash that like button to let me know. So that's pretty much it for me in this video, guys. Just a quick note before I leave, let's let you guys know that we've recently passed 2,000 subscribers. So that's a huge milestone for me. And I'm really appreciative and thankful for each and every one of you guys that thought I was cool enough to go ahead and hit that sub button, all right? Also, guys, this is our 100th video. Now, I wanted to do something special for this one, but I'm gonna wait until the end of the year. So stick around for that. As always, guys, you've been really awesome. My name is Dakar, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. 